Dinner is served, sire. Thank God, I'm hungry. His Majesty's waiting. Thank you. How could men have fought in medieval times with this much weight on them? They all wore armor, thus sharing the inconvenience it imposed. I have another question. Please. Why do they call it the British Channel? Because it is the British Channel. But its waves break on the mainland of France as well as on the British Isles. Why don't they call it the French Channel? Possibly because we have the larger navy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please sit down, sire. Now to business. In the matter of the ship's plans. What have you decided? Since the Dutch have yet to invent the matrix, we will agree to teach you that draftsman's craft and draw matrices of the city of Amsterdam after the fact. That will make the relationship between theory and practice quite clear to your people. Good, good. That's more than I had hoped for. Did you really work with your hands beside common shipwrights? <laughs> now, our needs in the matter of the tobacco, we're prepared to pay you 25,000 pounds for the privilege of being the sole importers to your country, hmm. free of custom duties of a million and a half pounds of tobacco. I suppose you're getting a bargain. Oh, I don't know. You got your cannon from Frederick, your ship from the Dutch, the matrices that will enable you to build your own ships from us. These are bargains. When you export to Germany, France, Holland, your tobacco is charged a heavy duty. I assume you're getting a better bargain with us, right? You are clever, Peter, but uh, try not to be too clever. Huh? Have you ordered Sir Isaac Newton to receive me? Oh, Peter, I can't order a man like Sir Isaac. Why not? I envy your autocracy. Parliament permits me to order very little. You are exaggerating. Uh, no, I'm regularly debated with and defeated in Parliament. However, I have asked Sir Isaac to receive you. Gordon will take you to him. this? It's called a spectrum. The colors that make up sunlight. But sunlight is white. <laughs> Not really. This experiment proves that it just looks white. It's like a rainbow. Exactly. Sunlight passes through drops of moisture in a cloud just as it passes through that prism I've ground and breaks it down into its component colors. Fantastic. I don't see how it does it. Well, light moves too fast for you to see it happen. Actually, 186,000 miles a second. How do you know that? Well, I know it mathematically. That's something I've never understood. Well, there is observe the order in the universe. Mathematics is a way of describing its inner harmony, a way of exploring the unknown often, and perhaps the unknowable. But 186,000, this is so precise a figure. Calculations, theories, facts. Someday some scientists will disprove it all. What are you going to do with this discovery? Do? Nothing. It's simply there. But you must have some purpose in the experiment. I did. I wanted to find out what sunlight was made of. I meant some practical application. No, no. This pursuit of knowledge is for its own sake. To ask so as to find out. It's what science is all about. I don't understand that. A 
For me, everything should be done for some reason. Please know how grateful I am that you have seen me. Are you in a hurry? No, but I know every moment of yours must be precious to you. Please stay. Help yourself to some sherry. You must have other questions to ask. <laughs> I could stay the rest of my life. I did want to know about your book, Principia. Is that pronounced correctly? Principia. Have you really discovered this basic principle of gravitation that holds the universe together? For the moment. There will be others with different principles. Only God never changes. God's clock is never slow or fast. Wound up once and forever. Most churchmen say once and forever. I say God tinkers occasionally with the mechanism. I have not much faith in churchmen. No, so I've heard. Is there an end to the universe, Sir Isaac? Now you've asked the ultimate question, Mr. of Russia. No. Man cannot visualize infinity. That belongs to God's domain. And there's no mathematical law for it, hmm? Take a look at these beams of light. What do you see? Specks of dust. How many? <laughs> thousands and thousands. Just imagine each speck to be the universe. And then think of all the specks in the air, in London, in, in Europe, in the world. Enough. I would like to invite you to Russia. We need people like you. Thank you. I would like to travel, but a distance of three miles is far enough for my mechanism to go. I understand. first think of gravitation when the apple fell from the tree? Don't believe everything you hear. Uh -huh. 